today? Or what did you do today, depending on the time? Uh, I, uh, I stay at home uh, in, the, in the morning and uh, study uh, uh, two classes on public in the, in the afternoon. Uh, I feel uh, bothered, so I decided to uh, drive along around my city. <laughs> it was it was about uh, three hours. I I drove um, with uh, I just drove along and um, come to um, some famous places like uh, high like uh, a high vis tower in my city in my country um, and a tunnel. Oh, I, I don't know exactly. Uh, maybe a, a tunnel, a road, a road uh, under the uh, a tunnel under the river, a tunnel. Okay, nice. That's sometimes <laughs> fun. I like driving around just without any real destination. You can listen to music, and sometimes really relaxing. Um, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Ismail, welcome to class. Ismail, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you, Joshua. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Um, okay, and so, Ismail, what did you do today? Or what are you going to do today? Uh, I'm going to shop some fruit and vegetables in open market. And there is a, there, there is a presidential election on Sunday in my country. I am going to vote for president. Mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday. Okay, so for the president. For the president. Yeah, nice. Okay, um, so today you're going to shop for fruits and veggies, and tomorrow you're going to vote for the president. That sounds like it'll be good, productive at least. Uh, okay, good, and let's get started with today's class really quickly. And let's have Igor, can you read the title in the next couple of lines? Talking about soccer. In ah, today's class. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. That was an old lesson. <laughs> uh, talking about sports. In today's class, we will learn different sports vocabul vocabulary. <laughs> Discuss sports, role play, athletic events. Nice. Um, you did a good job with vocabulary. Um, vocabulary. Can you repeat it one more time? Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Good. Vocabulary. Um, perfect. And yeah, sorry about the error with the title. Uh, All right, perfect. But good. And so let's go on to the next page. Vu, uh, can you ask Ismail the first question? Hi Ismail, what is your favorite sport? And who is your favorite player? My favorite sport is uh, soccer and uh, Schweinsteiger is my favorite player. Nice. I'm, I have no idea. Schweinsteiger is my favorite player. Nice. Schweinsteiger is really good. He's like super German. Um, okay. Um, okay. And so Ishmael, can you ask Vu the next question? Vu, have you ever played a sport? What position did you play? Yes, about, yes I uh, I am keen on playing football. Uh, about the position uh, I play, it is uh, I like to play uh, at uh, I like to play as uh, a striker. Striker. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice. So playing striker. Um, do you have a favorite player, Vu? Do you have a favorite player? Uh, my uh, my favorite uh, player is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, 
is Cristiano. Yes, no, no. CR7. Exactly. Um, cool. Yeah, some favorite players, Cristiano Ronaldo, definitely a really good player. Vu, can you ask Igor the last question? Uh, hi, Igor. Hello? What is, do you think children should stop playing organized sport? Well, the answer is as soon as possible. Because it's not only healthy for you, but it's also a lot of fun and it helps to develop the competitive edge for you and, of course, your muscles. Okay, so it helps develop the competitive edge and your muscles. Competitive edge and your muscles. Really good. Awesome. Um, okay, and so Igor, can you ask Ismail the top question? Uh, what sports can you name? Uh, how many sports can you name? Uh, I can name many sports. For example, uh, soccer, swimming, basketball, volleyball, tennis, table tennis, boxing, nice. wrestling. <laughs> really good. Wrestling. Um, Archie. Yeah, and yet, archery, good. Really nice. Archery. Um, tennis, I think you said. Swimming. I think I got swimming. Good. I mean, that's those are awesome. That's a lot of them. Uh, maybe football, like American football. Um, perfect. Really good work. And Ken, welcome to class. Ken, how are you doing? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Um, nice. I'm doing well. Nice to see you again, <laughs> Ken. Uh, Ken, what are you going to do for the rest of the day? What are you going to do for the rest of the day? The rest of the day? I actually, uh, the new day started here, so uh, maybe uh, go to bed for sleeping. Okay. And, yeah, <laughs> kind of, I, I'm living in Paris, so... Yeah. yeah. Okay, what, what did you do today, then? What have you done? Yeah, actually, typhoon... Uh, maybe weather is not fine because you know the the typhoon is uh, is passing through beside the Japanese Japanese area, so oh. it's gonna be rainy. So, but after rain has gone, I want to go outside. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, perfect. And so I think this is good. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay. Let's go to the next page. And so let's try some vocabulary. And let's start with Ken. Can you read the first four words? Mm -hmm. Three words. Okay. First three words. Okay. Uh, kick off. Field goal. Exercise. Good. And Vu, the next three words? In shape. Strike Goal line. Goalie. Goalie. Yeah, good. And the next one's Ismail. Post, post, basket. Good. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about any of these words? Uh, what is kickoff? Okay. Does anybody know what a kickoff is? Kickoff kick is uh, start, start a game. Start a game. Okay, so okay, okay. keep going. So, uh, for example, shoot restore. Uh, uh, yes, um, you write, you write, write, teacher. No, okay. No comment. <laughs> yeah, and it could be the beginning of anything. Um, so you could kick off the party. Kick even. off the meeting. Yeah, kick off the weekend. Kick off the meeting. Yep, the meeting, mm -hmm. um, or weekend, or anything. Um, so just, the project, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you can really kick off anything, but usually it's when you start a game. Um, okay, and any other questions? What is bold? 
boast? Good. Yeah. Does anybody know what a boast is or what it means to boast? Showing off? Pretty much. Um, showing off. Um, it's a little bit different, but like really, really close. Um, it's like to talk highly of yourself. So you don't boast. That's like sh showing off um, is when you do something to try to impress other people. But when you boast, it's just like you talk about yourself in a really good way. Um, so a boast is maybe saying you are the best player in the world. So it's like kind of unprovable, but it's when you talk really highly of yourself. Um, in, in a negative manner, we should accept this. Yeah, it's not, it's not regarded as very polite, maybe, to boast. But yeah, it's like saying that you're really good at something. Or, yeah. A little arrogant, maybe. Yeah. Arrogant, to so speak with arrogance. Arrogance. Yeah. Or pride. Um, yeah, does that answer your question? It certainly did. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, field goal is a kick goal, isn't it? Yeah, field this goal. is mm -hmm. American football. <coughs> um, um. When you score three points. That's a field goal. When you score three points. Uh, can it be used in soccer as well? No. Uh, okay. It's just an American football, so okay. a ball, the ball between the two posts at the end of the field. Um, so yeah, that's American football. Any other questions? Striker. What striker. does it? What does it strike? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so he, he kicks the ball. Um, I think it was Vu who said he liked to play striker. Vu, what's a striker? Uh, striker is the position uh, play uh, higher than uh, than uh, Miss Pindo. Play at Play play at a higher position than uh, mid fielder. Okay, so maybe the position that plays further forward than others. It was a little bit difficult to understand you, Vu. <laughs> yes. Is it, the, uh, <coughs> is it an offensive player? Yeah, so like a forward. Um, or the offense. And uh, what sport does it does this word belong to? Ah, what sport does it belong to, Vu? Vu? Sorry, teacher. Can you repeat your question? Yeah, Vu. What sport is a striker play? What sport? I think football. Yeah, uh, so football soccer, or soccer, depending on where you are in the English-speaking world. Um, but good. Any other questions? And Joshua, what is what is the meaning of pause in this concept? Okay. So does anybody know what the posts are? It's uh, the metal things that uh, make the frame of the net. Yeah, the frame of the net. Um, they're also used in other sports without nets, like American football. You can have the f the field goal posts. Um, so usually just the metal poles that make the goal. Um, but they're used in hockey and soccer and, uh, yeah, American football, play handball. Um, yeah, so they're just the metal poles that hold things up. Good. Does that answer everybody's question? Does anybody have any other questions? 
Yes, teacher. In shape. What the shape. Yes. Okay. Does anybody know what in shape means? Can anybody explain in shape? It means to be in a good form, like physically, when you can run a lot without, like, a good durability. But you can run a lot without being, without getting tired. Yeah, having good endurance when you can run a lot without being tired. Um, can exercise a lot without getting tired. Yeah, I think I exercise in general without getting tired would be in shape. But yeah, maybe playing sports for a long time and not being tired is good too. Okay. That means good condition? Yeah, in good condition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, good. Any other questions? And goalie, goalie teacher. Goalie. Uh, okay. Does anybody know goalie? The one who protects the net. Yeah, the player who pr protects the net. Um, Goalkeeper. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Goalkeeper. Similar to goalkeeper. That's the same position. We almost always say goalie. Goalkeeper sounds funny. Just because it's such a long mm. word, we don't really use it. Mm. Um, so that's the technical word for it, but everybody will say goalie. You'll never really hear goalkeeper. Um, sometimes you can hear keeper. Um, so you could say goalkeeper. Um, keeper is another pretty common one. So you could say goalie, keeper, um, or goalkeeper. But usually keeper or goalie. Um, okay, any other questions? <coughs> okay, so that and, might and be... Teacher, and must keep in, uh, in this... Uh, in this... Uh, concept? Concept. Uh, context. In this context. Okay. Um, so, yeah, does anybody know what a basket is? Yeah. I, I believe I can give somebody a turn because I already talked a lot. <laughs> That's okay. Let anybody else know. Speak up then. Okay, so a basket is this round thing <laughs> where you throw a basketball. Yeah, so that you throw, throw a basketball in to score a point. Um, good. I think that's great, Igor. So basket is a round thing that you throw a basketball in to score a point um, in the game of basketball. Does that answer the... I believe it's points. <laughs> Pardon? I, I believe understand. it's points. Not the point. Like, it's usually not a point, but two or three points. Oh, that's true. To score two points. Or three points. Good. It's only one point if it's a free shot. A free throw, yeah. For sure. Good. And so any other questions on this page? No, I think it covered it. <laughs> yeah, I think we covered it pretty well. I think the only one was exercise. Um, but good, let's go on to the next page. And let's have Ken. Can you read the title? Okay, the choose the correct verb and con uh, con conjugate. Good. And can you try the first sentence, Ken? Okay. The defender belong into the other player to win the ball. Defender... Uh, into the other player to win the couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> call into not the other player. Not, not call. quite. Mm -hmm. uh, slide? Yeah, we'd have to mm -hmm. conjugate it. Mm -hmm. ah, uh, defender, uh, not slide, uh, con Conjugate means uh, you changing tense or something. Yeah, so you change the tense. So it's either in the uh, slide it. Close. It's irregular. It has an irregular past tense. Uh, Wait. Slide. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's not slide. Easy. Not quite. It's tricky. Does anybody know the past tense of to slide? Slid. Slid. Yeah. Uh -huh. So defender slid into the other player to win the ball. Can you repeat that sentence, Ken? Okay. 
The defender slid into the other player to win the, go- win the ball. Nice. Good job. And let's have Vu. Can you try the next one? The coach. Mm-hmm. A complaint to the ref when his team conceded the goal. Can you repeat that one more time? Sorry. Um, complain to the ref. The ref. I uh, my answer is uh, complain. Okay, so that works. Close. Uh, we need to conjugate it as well. Uh, there are two words. Two words, teacher. Yeah. So, I think it would be the past progressive. Okay. Complained. Complained. Close. So, the pa- do you know the present progressive? Or the present um, continuous? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, teacher. So, this is the past was, continuous. Uh, was, was complaining. Yeah, was complaining. So, can you read the whole sentence? Uh, the coach was complaining to the ref when his team conceded the goal. Good. And can you repeat conceded? Conceded. Conceded. Yeah. Um, good. And. Conceded. Yeah. Ooh, that's a loud scream. Um, conceded uh, is a gave up. Um, so when somebody scores on you, you can see the goal. Uh, but okay, good. Nice job, Vu. I- Ismail, can you read the next one? Yes. Uh, you blank someone if you keep tackling with your cleats up. Uh... You can injure someone if you keep tackling with your cleats up. What is cleats up, teacher? Spikes. Okay. Uh, I couldn't hear teacher. Sorry about that. Um, uh, okay, now I can hear you, teacher. Is yeah, that? Okay. yeah, that was definitely my fault. Sorry. Um, so again, with this one, we can use like are going to injure somebody or will. So the future tense. They both work. Um, Igor, can you try the next sentence? Uh, the ref called off sides. Nice. Good job. The ref called off sides. And the last one, uh, Ken. Yes, uh, I scored uh, three goals so far this session, a uh, season. Good. Mm, this season. Mm, this so season. it's still kind of happening. Um, uh, um, okay. I. Uh, I'm scoring. Close. I was um, scoring. <laughs> not quite. So it'd be the present perfect. Yeah. Oh, okay, I have scored. I've yeah. scored. 
good. Because it's this season, so it's like up until now. Um, mm -hmm. So I have scored three goals so far this season. Um, yeah, good. And does anybody have any questions on this page? Yes, teacher. Okay. What does this mean of uh, called offsides? Okay, called offsides. Can anybody explain what it is when you call offsides? When you whistle for an offside. Yeah, exactly. Whistle. And so, do you know what offside is as well? Uh, offside is a uh, position. Is not well. Is an illegal position in sports. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the rules change from sport to sport. Like in hockey, if you uh, bring a puck uh, into the offensive zone uh, before. Uh, uh, not before, after somebody else from your team has been has been there, then the offside is called. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it depends in different sports. Soccer is different than hockey. I'm not sure what other sports have offsides besides hockey and soccer. Um, but yeah, exactly. Um, uh, how to say an illegal position better? <laughs> No, that's exactly, that's what I would have said, an illegal position in sports, so somewhere you can't be. Um, but good. Does anybody have any other questions on this page? Okay. Uh, so good, let's go on to the next page. And so let's have... Uh, Vu, can you read this comic? The wrong code when the reps make a religious error appear roughly to the screen while rattling passionately be sure to argue the case truly to show the rep on screen you see what he's doing cosplaying against your team and you don't like it at all. Good. Nice job, Vu. <laughs> good pronunciation. You did a good job with egregious. Um, can you repeat gesturing? 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 Yeah, and then thoroughly. Thoroughly. So, thoroughly. 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 Nice work. That sounds great. Um, <laughs> Inspiring. I think, yeah, that sounded good. And so, Ismail, what do you think about this comic? What do you think it means? Uh, when I watch a football match, I usually uh, behave like this man on the photo. Because we generally uh, want to win uh, the game. Actually, not we, our team. We want our team won the game. Win the game. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, generally we want our team to win, um, or our team generally wants to win the game. Yeah. And when a referee uh, made a, how can I say, when referee uh, uh, made a false decision according to us or against our team, we are going to yell and making gesture. Yeah, and gesture. Something like this. Okay, good. So when the ref makes a bad decision, we're going to yell and gesture. Um, for sure. Uh, that's definitely legit. Um, good. And so, Igor, when was the last time something like this happened to you? Oh, well, it happens pretty much often. <laughs> Because I like watching 
hacker games in particular and soccer games. And when this happens, I usually encourage my friends to start booing the referee. <laughs> 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 because uh, this way we think it may somehow put him under pressure. And the next time he might reconsider his call. <laughs> Uh, nice. Um, so it'll put him under pressure and make him reconsider his call next time. Good. That's awesome. Uh, okay. And yeah, does anybody have any questions on this page? Any questions about anything on and, here? Uh, Joshua, how is that even? Uh, what is the meaning of even in this? Uh, Picture? Even? Even. How is that even? What do you mean the carton is here? How is that? Oh, so it's like, um, right yeah, here. Yes. Okay, so it's, it's like, right how there. is that even possible? Or it's like, how is that even a call? Oh, um, okay. Oh, I, like, I, okay. Yeah? Do you, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, just kind of left it off. Um, any other questions? Okay, good. Um, so let's move on to the next one. And so it's another comic. So let's have um, Vu, can you play the little girl? And let's have Ken, can you play the boy? Okay. Okay, uh, why don't you sign up to play baseball like the rest of the boys? Don't you like sports? I do know. I'd just uh, rather run around. I hate all the uh, rules and organization and teams and ranks in sports. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, okay, me again. Somebody is always yelling at you, yelling you here to be what to do and then to do it. I figure when I want that, uh, I'll join the the army and at least get get paid. Okay, good. Um, and so, Igor, what do you think he's talking about in this in this comic? <laughs> I think it's funny. So uh, the boy doesn't want to be pushed around and uh, don't want others to tell him what to do. So <laughs> he makes a funny comment that if he wanted that to be true for him, he would rather join the army and get paid yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, and Ismail, um, do you agree or do you disagree? What do you think about it? What do you think about this comic? Do you agree with him or disagree with him? I think uh, the boy uh, summarized the supporting events uh, very successfully. Sporting events? Sports events. Okay. Uh, okay, and do you agree? Do you think that sports are kind of like being in the army? I, I, uh, I generally agree with the boys, but uh, you can get uh, many money if you are a good uh, professional sport player in a team. Yeah, maybe a good pro athlete. Um, but you can make a lot of money if you are a good pro athlete. Can you repeat that sentence? But you can make a lot of money if you are a good pro athlete. Okay, good. Awesome. And, okay, does anybody... Does anybody agree and think that the army would be close to being on a sports team? 
Does anybody agree? Yeah, kind of. You know, some some sport team or some sport circle here, especially in the school, has a, a strong hierarchy. It's not all, but some team has that that kind of thing. It's similar to army, actually. Okay. Yeah. So some sports do have like strong hierarchies, um, for sure. Well, okay, I disagree. Okay. I served, I served in the army for two years, and it's nothing like sport. <laughs> it's all about <laughs> getting things done. And okay. No, nobody even cares if you can do that or not. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, really good point. Perfect. Two years um, in the army. Good. And so that's awesome. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay. Uh, and so let's go on to the next page. And let's have Vu. Can you ask Ismail the first question? What is the best hotel event in the world? Why do we think so? I think the best sporting event in the world is a World Cup. Okay. Uh, I have many <laughs> reasons for this. Because it's it is a big party and it takes a mount. Many people are joining in this party all around the globe. Okay, many people join. Join in this party. Okay, and we wouldn't say in either. We just say join the party or join this party. Mm -hmm. um, from all around the world. So many people from all around the world join this party. Um, I think the best sporting event in the world is the World Cup. I have many reasons for this. Um, good, many, okay. Many people watch on TV. Okay, many people watch it. Watch it on TV. Watch it on TV. Good. Uh, what do you think, Igor? What do you think is the best sporting event in the world? Well, it's a subjective opinion, of course, but for me, the best sporting event in the world is Winter Olympics. And why is that? Because I really adore hockey, and the Winter Olymp Olympics is the only opportunity for me to see the best players from all around the world to pit against each other. That's fun for me. Nice to see the best players from all around the world pitted against each other. The world pitted against each other. Good. Um, really good sentences. I figured uh, that that might be your answer is why I asked you. Um, <laughs> Okay, cool. And Igor, can you ask Ken the next question? Uh, if you could be a professional athlete, what sport would you play? Why? Mm, actually, I wanted to be a rock star. Actually, their job is almost like a sports athlete. Physically hard. Starting on the stage and singing maybe two or three hours. So, <laughs> okay. yeah, to be a rock star. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Their sim their job is actually similar to an athlete's for sure. What what athletic job would you have? So, if you had to pick a sport, which one would you pick? Mm, I've never thought of sports as my occupation, but uh, since I love swimming, I swim a lot. The swimmer, but there's no uh, professional position for swimmers actually. Yeah, that's true. Maybe if you're like somebody like Michael Phelps, you get a lot mm -hmm. of money from advertising and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Good. Maybe so a professional swimmer. That's good. I think that's great. Ken, can you ask the same question? And Vu, can you answer? Okay. And Vu, if you could be a professional athlete, uh, what sport would you play? Why? Uh, I would. I would like to be. Uh a uh, football player uh, because uh, because uh, it is my uh, favorite sport. 
I'd, I'd like to be a sky striker um, when, when I was a child uh, I played uh, football every day and I wish I, I wish uh, one day I can uh, I could be uh, uh, a player playing uh, football on the TV. <laughs> okay. We would probably just say on TV, not the TV. Um, okay. But good. What team would you play for? Uh, Manchester United. Nice. Okay. Perfect. And good. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay, good. And so let's have Ismail. Can you read this first role? Role play. You are the referee. The player just committed a foul in the box and you called a penalty. No matter what happens, you can't change the call. Okay, and Igor, can you play the player? Uh, you're playing in your first Winter Olympics. <laughs> The referee thinks you committed a penalty, but you did not. Convince him that he was wrong, but don't get a yellow card. Don't get ejected, <laughs> maybe. I think it's a game misconduct. Pardon? I think it's uh, a game misconduct when you're being ejected in hockey. Okay, yeah, don't get uh, ejected for misconduct. Okay, yeah, good. And can you guys go ahead and play those roles? Uh, I think the referee needs to call me for something <laughs> first. Okay. Ismail, can you call? Okay. <laughs> Penalty! <laughs> hey man, what was that? Why do you whistling? Why are you whistling? You committed a foul in the box and I decided to penalty. Well, I just was sitting there doing nothing. Just was sitting around. What call did I convince? Can, can we? <laughs> did I make exactly? Make exactly? <laughs> I decided already. No matter what happens, you can change my decision. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better change your decision because I have a lot of guys there who are breaching you behind those doors. What what do you talk about? Do you What do you mean? I mean that I have a lot of brutes out there behind those those <laughs> doors. They are waiting for you <laughs> when you just uh, uh, when the game is finished and you, are, you need to get out of this building, you know, and they are just behind the doors. So if I were you, I would have changed my call. I, I won't change my decision. You can behave what do you want to do. Okay. Uh, you're a smart ass and you're such a <laughs> such a donkey. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't mean that to you. <laughs> so fine, let it be. We'll see you tomorrow in the hospital, you know. <laughs> oh gosh, that's terrifying. If um, you carry on uh, to speak something like this, I can show a red card for you. You know, you're, <laughs> you're, not, a <laughs> you're not a competent referee. There, there are no red cards in hockey. Okay, you deserve a red card. I show you a red card. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> um, this is fine. This is fine. So I think we were just talking about different <laughs> sports. So I changed it to the Winter Olympics because you go to like hockey. Um, hey, smile. But good, you did a good job as the ref. Maybe you could say, um, "That's it. You're ejected, uh, or you're out." But 
That was well, awesome. Well, uh, I didn't remember what is uh, what is the word, Joshua. Uh, we are going to talk with you after the game, something like this uh, challenge. Somebody in a bad way or I'm not sure. When you're talking to somebody after the game. Threat? Threat or threat? Oh yeah, threat. Threat. Threatening. Yes. Um so definitely. He was he was definitely threatening you. It wasn't the heat of the action, so sorry. (laughs) Is it is it uh, common in hockey? uh, Well when you play hockey you go to threat the referee? (laughs) <laughs> when when you play hockey, it's even uh, common to start fights, but not the refer- referee, of course. But yeah. you know the adrenaline adrenaline is flowing, and the referees are usually used to hearing these kind of things. It's like the rules might, are different than soccer writing. Yeah, they might they might uh, go easier on you for the first time you threaten them, but. If you persist, then you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, and so that was really good, both of you guys. Let's go on to the next page. Ken, can you read this comic? Okay. Uh, the head grab. Uh, when you your team blows a perfect opportunity to score, grab your head and lean back while whispering, no, softly. Good. And so, Vu, um, has this ever happened to you? Uh. Vu, are you there? Yeah, yes, um, I'm, th- I'm thinking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Um, uh, when, uh, when I, uh, when I, when I was a striker uh, of my team, I, uh, I get a perfect opportunity to uh, shoot. The, to shoot a ball into the goal, um, no one, no one standing in, uh, standing uh, before the goal. Um, but, however, I saw uh, the ball outside, uh, outside uh, the target. Uh, so, i you missed. I missed. Yes, I missed. I missed. Okay, so you could say I had an open goal, but I missed. Um, but good, and so this is good. <laughs> I think he's talking more about a fan. So he's talking about somebody who's watching a sport. Um, does that make sense, Phil? So like mm-hmm. when you're watching a sport and the team that you support misses some perfect opportunity, um, you can kind of hold your head and be like, no. Um, yes, I understand, yeah. Okay, and so, Ken, uh, when was the last time this happened to you? Mm. <laughs> Actually, I only swimming and walking these days, so I, I didn't participate much. And, okay. And body language is just a bit different from, uh, you know, from Western world to in Asia. Yeah, that's Not true. So many Players didn't do this gesture. I, as far as I remember, maybe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Less expressive, yeah. actually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Igor? Well, if <laughs> such a thing happens, I wouldn't. I wouldn't just uh, li- limit myself to no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it happens, and it's such a shame, you know, when they just pass up a perfect opportunity and we were all like, how can, can you miss it there? It was uh, two meters to the goal, to the net, I don't know. 
Yeah, definitely. It's one of those nightmare situations, just like the worst thing possible. Especially um, if it would have been a uh, game deciding goal. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so the World Cup had a couple of those for sure. But good. Um, nice. And so, yeah, what about you, Ismail? Has something like this ever happened to you? Could you remember the last time? Yes, Joshua, but uh, this gesture a little, uh, means uh, a little different in our culture. Okay, uh, what does it mean? For example, if my team uh, see a goal in it is... Uh, uh, How can I say, uh, uh, if my team uh, get a, a goal from rival team, okay. we, we are going to make this gesture for uh, sadness. Yeah. For sadness. Um, maybe in sadness? In sadness. Yeah. Um, so if my team is scored on by a rival, I think. If my team is scored on by a rival, we're going to make this gesture in sadness. I think that's something similar. So if you miss an opportunity, or if somebody else who you're going against makes an opportunity, I think that would work for sure. Um, so, unfortunately, we're just about out of time. Does anybody have any last questions before we finish up? Any last questions? Okay, so hopefully not. Um, and, yeah, so have a really good night, guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys all again soon. Uh, and really nice class. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Have a great day.